and welcome back, everybody. Who is ready for Space, Space News? News? Our friend, astronomer Dean Regis, is ready, and he joins us again on our ARC set. Welcome back. Good morning. morning. Good morning. to see you again, man. Good to see you guys, too. You've always got big doings going on. Now, before we went to commercial break just before, we showed sunrise at the Grand Canyon. Oh, man. That's an important place for you. I know it is. It really is. It's just a special place in general. Uh, I got to be the astronomer in residence at the Grand Canyon for a couple weeks uh, back in 2021. That meant I got to live in the canyon, awesome. work in the canyon, yes. stargaze in the canyon. And so every year I go back for their annual star party, which is June 1st through 8th, where they have telescopes set up and about 1,000 to 1,500 people come and look through the telescopes every night. It is so magical. It's so different when you get out that far from the, the light pollution. When you, when you get out to places like the Grand Canyon and other dark sky parts of the country, just how different is it? It really is. And for people thinking about summer travel, I'd highly recommend it. It is getting out to the national parks is amazing. They make an effort to do nighttime things as well because you can see the Milky Way at oh, night. Oh. You can see these amazing stars. Uh, this is a picture of a double rainbow at the Grand Canyon. This look is from the north that. rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, and so the star party that's out there is just, it's this great energy around it, which is just incredible. Um, and so they'll be, oh yeah, so that was, <laughs> that was down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon where I brought my skyline with me to, uh, uh, to well, it was, uh, it was Thanksgiving down th at the Phantom Ranch down at the bottom of the canyon. <gasps> and uh, the, uh, the, the, they were not that big of fans of the skyline, skyline. sauce. I'm sorry, but I loved it. Uh, and so then Bryce Canyon is also doing a uh, star party. This oh, is in okay. Southern Utah. So that's going to be uh, June 6th, 7th, and 8th. So I'm going to be doing both of them. I'm oh, going wow. the Grand Canyon first. You then Bryce Canyon. And so it's a great chance for people, if they're thinking about summer travel, uh, check with the national parks because they have a lot of stuff going on. Um, could you tell us in your words, you had such a great way of talking about the eclipse and, and giving such a great soundbite about that, about how important it was to be in total darkness. And, and I think you, your description of it really helped people get to make sure that they got to totality. Tell us why, tell us the difference of seeing stars here in Cincinnati at night and seeing the Grand Canyon and stars out there, how different that is. Oh, it is so incredibly different because of just how dark it is out there in, in, in the parks. Because you walk outside, you can see the Milky Way just like outside of a hotel or outside of, right. because they make efforts to make uh, light pollution minimize, especially around Flagstaff, Arizona. They're like a dark sky city where they have lighting ordinance where it's different. And so being able to see the sky the way it's meant to be, uh, the people that go out there, uh, I've had so many people say uh, that seeing the night sky was the best part of their trip, yeah. which boggles my mind because I'm like standing there, I was like, did you see the canyon? But they still thought the stars were the thing. And so it's a, it's a travel destination to get to a dark yeah. sky. Well, and it's so interesting as we were looking at that light pollution map there, and guys, I don't know if we still have that or not, but I mean, the difference when you get west of the Mississippi, it's such a stark yeah, difference to, to look at the, the eastern and central part of the country and then once you cross over you are just in these vast spaces where there just aren't nearly as many you know big cities in ways that are going to light up the night and and for those who have never been first of all west of the mississippi just to begin with go because it'll drop your chin half the time just from the sort of geology yeah. of it all um and the topography and whatnot but when you see being able to see the milky way that's even it's hard to describe what what do you mean when you say that because I, I like what Jen brought up you have a way of sort of putting these He's things in context because it's it's not just well you see a bunch of stars you, you it's almost you see the the bubble the sphere of it I, I can't I can't say it right yeah the, the scale of everything you kind of get this idea of like oh wow this is what people have been looking at for thousands of years yeah. I like the historical perspective too is you're looking up and you're seeing the same stars and constellations people have been seeing since the beginning of time and that idea of seeing that Milky Way arch over your sky, you're looking at billions and billions of stars <laughs> in our galaxy and they're so far away that they just look like spilled milk up in the sky. Uh, it's to, to see that many stars, it, it is startling. Like people look up there and like, I didn't it, know there were that yeah, many. I didn't know yeah. there were that many. Uh, and so, yeah, being in the city, it's it's hard to see more than 20 or 40 stars. Right. Uh, but out there, it's you know, hundreds, if not thousands of stars at one time. Well, what kinds of things should people be looking forward to this summer? What kinds of upcoming 
astronomical events are going to be happening? Well, the summer constellations are always fun to look at. I always think of like 4th of July and the constellation Scorpius. So this is a great uh, constellation in the southern sky. Uh, we've got the three stars called the Summer Triangle, which is something you can see even in the city. Uh, but I do have to say, after the eclipse, it's kind of hard to follow <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm still like riding this wave of eclipse. Oh, and yeah. uh, and I, I've run into so many people that are like, we are so glad that we heard you describe this because that's, that's what I'm telling you. They, I convinced a lot of people, and people were like, "Oh, they're they're so." I mean, they're like you, thanking me. You they're do like again. So, you thought 99.9 <laughs> was right. going to be enough, but it's not. It wasn't. You had to be there. That's and right. stars in the city are great, but stars out west are so much better. It is. They I, really are. Yeah. One of the one of the fondest memories I have of my dad. I think I've told you this before. And I get, I was a little little kid, and we are on some beach. I can't remember where we were, but we were way away from light pollution wherever we were. And I will never forget hold my dad's hand i'm probably eight ten years old and looking up and it was exactly as you described it was it was so much you couldn't like i couldn't absorb it there was just there was a, a vastness of it that was just hard, especially at that age, to, to, to wrap my brain around. Yeah, I, that, uh, I had a good experience of that when I went to a Phantom Ranch. That's the little town at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Right. So you hike down there. It's a you know, five-hour hike to go down here, a mile down. And my first night, it was so dark that I was like, I, the, the rangers were like, hey, come on up. We'll have a little dinner like at the ranger station. I go outside and I was like, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> like, right. right. And uh, looking at the stars, my first night doing the star talk there, I looked up and the rangers saw it in my, in my eyes. They said, you didn't know that were there my stars up there. I mean, it was so dark. I had to readjust to find the constellations again because there were so many more stars. Oh, wow. You, you didn't know. That's wow. I was like, <laughs> That's uh, neat. Uh, oh, North Star. Okay, got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, okay. but then all these others out there, hundreds of other stars out there. And... Uh, um, I'll never forget my, my favorite uh, is walking back from a nighttime program in the you know pitch dark and you could see Orion coming up above the canyon walls. Wow. That was just so magical to see. Orion's my guy because I can always find him. That helps. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He, he's one of the ones where especially getting into fall, early fall, I'm like, oh, there's my guy. That's you know, right. You yeah. always find him. And it's good to find like a little, uh, you know, a, a constellation you can recognize as a good starter and then you can right. learn the other ones yeah. from there. Right, right. Well, what's going on locally here summer? Or even now, not just getting in the summer. I mean, I, there's always something going on. Well, so uh, the big thing is I'm getting ready to go to the Grand yeah. Canyon out in June. So I have a class coming up okay. tomorrow night. It's cool. an online class that anybody can take on Grand Canyon Adventure, where I talk about my time there, uh, talk about time in Bryce Canyon and some other parks as well. So people want to sign up for that, it's on my website, astrodean.com. Uh, and then we're going to be doing some pop-up star parties, what I call it, uh, where I set up telescopes, myself and some colleagues, we set up telescopes around the city at Very certain cool. times. Yep. So we're, uh, watch, uh, stay tuned for astrodean.com, we'll point uh, our May pop-up star party place to be determined Fine. so uh yeah we pop up with telescopes and people can look through those um uh, and so uh but yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting out west again and then coming back and uh, uh in july i'm heading out to some other observatories around the midwest so nice. uh going on tour a little bit so. i love Dean that on tour <laughs> yeah and I, I if you're not following him on all of his social media platforms highly recommend yeah. because he'll share a lot of his experiences out west and everything uh on those social media and platforms he's a great photographer too so you get to see yeah. really cool Right. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Hey, thank have you a, guys. Have a blast out oh, west. Yeah. I'm envious. I'm, I'm jealous. I really uh, me too. We'll it's look forward to those you pictures. Guys come out to the star party. Yes. Okay. With live Mark. live from the star party. Live, live from, from the, the star, star party. party. There you Put go. Put it down. Tanner, work on it. <laughs> All right. We'll talk I'm to you again soon, Dean. Take care, buddy. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest. You want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.